Hey guys, so my guy is Jean Paul Amard, or Jean Paul Charles Amard Sart. Um, he was born on June 21st, 1905, in Paris, France. Um, he died April 15th, 1980, in Paris. He was a French novelist, a playwright, and exponent of existentialism. Um, a philosophy of claiming the freedom of the individual human being. He was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1964, but he declined it. Um, so this is early life. He lost his dad in an early age, and he grew up in his home. Grew up in the home of his um, grand grandfather. Um, Carl Schweitzer. He was the uncle of Albert Schweitzer. And he was a professor at, of German at the Sorbonne. Sorbonne. Fun fact. Um, so when Sard had hit the age for college, he went to Lycee Henry four, five, I don't know Roman numerals, in Paris and later on after the remarriage of his mother. Um, he graduated from there and from there he went to the prestigious school a prestigious school, and I have no idea how to pronounce this. Um, but he graduated in 1929. Um, he still had not gotten married, didn't like marriage. Um, but while he was there, he met a student. Um, her name is Simone de Beauvoir. Um, and they just kind of became like lifetime partners and they both influenced each other's works um they were both uh, they both kind of influenced the idea of feminism that's just been developed over the years what we see today um these two were the ones who influenced the ideas about it um Um, he was a teacher, and while he was teaching, he had published several books, but one of the most popular ones was called La Nausée, no Nausea, <laughs> La Nausea, um, and he published that in 1938, his, it was called, it was his first claim to fame, um, and the form of it that it was written in was kind of like a diary. Um, and so it was very popular because it just, it attracted people because it felt like it was like inside of how he was feeling, inside his mind. Um, and then he wrote another book. Um, and it was being in nothingness and he wrote it in 1943 um in this book he talks about like human consciousness or nothingness he goes on to say like Human endeavor is and remains useless. Um, and so the book is just kind of set in a sad tone throughout. Um, and then he was drafted into the army. Um, and so while he was there, he started, he got cap, he got captured. He was held captive. Um, and while 
he was there. He um, read another piece by someone else. Um, and then he wrote another book called Existentialism and Humanism. And in that, it just pretty much said, like, freedom is now implied social responsibility. Um, <clears throat> and he just, he kind of used this to get out the ethical message of who he was. Um, and then he went on to writing plays, um, No Exit. He wrote that. Um, and it just, he, his entire life was spent studying, um, the three main metaphysics, existentialism, and self-consciousness. <coughs> and that's just kind of what he was known for. And then Sartre died. And... April of 1980 in Paris, France. Yeah.